What up? We're back. Playing episode one. Season one of The Walking Dead. We're just going around the farm talking to everybody. Let's ignore this little shit. Shit, do I have to talk? Yeah, I think I gotta talk to him. How you doing, Doug? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Shut up. Ugh. Hey, Lee. Need a hand. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Well, was he one of the walkers? I'm sure it's justified. The walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yeah, I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, in Macon. Let's go with My that. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Alright. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay, guess we gotta go to the barn now. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Got a ride. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Eh, let's go with no wife anymore. No wife? Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh... I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, shit. It's going down. Oh, I'll get my gun. It's going down. Oh, you little bastard. I ain't gotta make a decision. Save Sean. It's 
help Sean. Come on, man. We got to get you out. We got to get you out. Almost got you. Oh, no. That's not good. Ooh. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I'll take the blame for this one. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends are cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, fuck you. That's why you dye your eyebrows. Fucker. that ride to make it if you want it. Let's go then. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Come on, get him. No! Oh, why didn't you bite him? Oh, my God. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Oh, fuck you too. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Ooh, or so dangerous. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this. Ah, uh, this guy's an asshole. My dead body will dig one hole. No, 
I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Um, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it... We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Let's Everyone kick his ass. Let's go. Anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Ooh, Fuck Air Force. Air Force, big deal. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Got his ass, though. Oh, shh. Oh, that's not good. Ah oh, shit. Almost got it. Woof. Okay. Nice shooting. You okay? Just great, thanks. Heart attack! Yes! Fuck you, old man. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Uh -huh. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. 
Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Whew. All right. I guess that's the end of this episode. Oh, wait. Hold on. Something right here. Energy bar. All right. That's the end of this episode, and we'll be back later for the rest of this episode later. See y'all later.